guys welcome back to my channel my name is grace diege if you are just joining for the first time if this is the first time you're seeing my face i have taken an unprecedented break from the channel i had not planned on um taking a break it, i just went from not filming once twice and then suddenly there were no videos on the channel and i feel so bad that i left you guys kind of hanging a lot of you have joined the family thank you so much if you subscribed Thank you if you've hit the bell, the notification bell down there. If you're watching me for the millionth time, guys, subscribe, support my channel. I am hoping to get to 10K by the end of the year. So by New Year's, please, 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 if you can, share this video, share your favorite video with your friends, get them to subscribe. I'm collecting. I do hope to have an amazing giveaway when I do turn or when I get to 10K. So make sure you're following me. Make sure you're keeping up to date with me on my instagram channels as well so that's at home with grace and Diege and grace and Diege. so i have two of them um yes today's video now that i'm back i am going to be spoiling you with a haul i have taken a break from buying a lot of things for the home just because my sister said you know what give yourself a break you've been you've been like you've really been pushing into the content so take take some time off um save your money but <laughs> can we ever really save our money when sometimes you see things and they're really nice and you like them <laughs> so i've not spent as much as i normally would on home decor but I, I have been picking up a few things here and there and i wanted to share them with you today um hmm. what i guess what to expect is potentially my bedroom update i'm still working on it i had put a pause on it i have been focusing on a, i guess dif a different side of my life i've been buying hair buying what clothes buying what else skincare i've been buying like i literally have just redirected my funds to uh, the other side of me completely so i haven't really been focused on the home front however i do have some exciting things i've picked up um, I shared my bedside tables with you guys on Instagram already. I will include more details on the video when I do my bedroom update coming soon. So yes, let's jump into the homeware haul. Excuse me. <laughs> Get this done. <laughs> uh -huh. So now that I have my bedside table, I have been wanting to decorate them to be very very me of course um the wall the dark wall is is amazing i love it and then it contrasts so nicely against the gold bed the gold metallic bed that you can see then my bedside tables are white so they stuck they stand stuck out of the wall they literally jump and just accentuate the bed um so i have things that i have moved around from different parts of the house however there's other things that i bought and that's what i'm gonna show you today uh -huh. so the first thing i will start is with is this jasmine bamboo and jasmine candle i love the color it's from shop malista and it was 1800 can you just ah uh, it's a blush pink i love this 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 pattern i don't know what this pattern is but it's very very trendy we don't have a lot of it here in kenya so i was very happy when i saw this and i picked it up i didn't i would not have passed it up um a lot of the times a room always feels flat and people don't realize this about their rooms is that sometimes it can be very very flat so you need to add texture to bedding to different decor pieces and this candle is so it smells so good like it's not overpowering i haven't burnt it yet it's still fresh i don't know i don't know if i'll ever burn it because i like i just like the the color the everything about it uh yeah so that was from shop my lister then the second shop is a new shop that actually reached out to me and wanted to share a few of the goods with me and this is the shop is called teluji and they they are it's a specialty store that does soap stones so a lot of this had it's really like it's really good it's very durable so this is a it's just a dish i don't know what you would use it for but I intend to have it. So this was 600 bob. At least I have I have a price tag so I can I can share with you. Um I love the tones like the blush, 
pinky tones in the it's it's very it has terracotta and a lot of blushy pinky tones in it which is my vibes obviously anything blush pink is me um then I, then this as well is slightly a, it's a slightly deeper bowl that's what i'm going i'm going to call it <laughs> uh let's see that like that pink is just beautiful and i i intend to use this to serve salads or just to serve food so like a white rice with raisins or something would look really nice in this dish um i don't know like it could do guac in this so avocado then they also gave me two candle holders so it's a pair but look at the color just look at that it's so gorgeous so so gorgeous this is just for, it's for tea light it's tea light holders um yeah for the pair i don't know how much these are but i'd say maybe the 600 mark i guess going with the price so make sure you follow the page on instagram these are very nice pieces and follow me as well to see how i use this in my room i intend to style them very soon now the next thing that i carried is from Taskies. now this is a trinket dish so it's in the plate section obviously and i think you're meant to use it as a plate like you can again same thing you can use it for your guacamole if you're serving it on a table or for your sauces something like that however i love 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 the it's ceramic like it's such good quality a good quality dish and then the inside of it is even more beautiful i don't know if you can see kind of looks like terrazzo but it's so smooth it's such a nice finish and i use this as a trinket uh bowl i it's next to my it's on my bedside table so i put i put my rings and my watch and my bobby pins in it i don't know if you can see them why is this focusing on me <laughs> and bobby pins in them so this is really handy i do intend on getting four more so the larger size of this this was 65 bob very cheap or 85 if i'm not wrong very cheap um so i do intend to get the larger sizes so two larger sizes are about one is about 165 so two of them in black and two of them in the whitish ceramic um style just as just to use as serving dishes just because i feel like i'm in that space where now i'm growing up and i need to start acquiring things to serve guests yeah <laughs> then ooh, well i'm on that side i also picked up so this is a drinking glass that have con very conveniently converted into a vase i was trying to kind of channel this this vibes this uh, this um <sighs> i don't know what this is the thingies that are growing can i call them anundu i'm a <laughs> so i was trying to channel the same off of this so i don't know if you can see can you see yes you can so this is a, a drink a water glass vase it's a water vase no it's not a water vase what, what the hell is wrong with me? it's a water glass that i have turned into a vase which i have put four flowers that look amazing against can you just see the, the the green pops against that blue it just looks so good on this bedside table i think um i'm decorating in threes the, the other thing i'm missing on that table is a clock my flowers are dusty is a clock i think i want a gold alarm clock with like a black background to the clock um just because like most people i have been trying to reduce my time on the internet <laughs> i don't know if that's going to ever be possible uh huh so i dropped in to house of leather i did not intend to buy anything but then i saw this frame and this is one of those things you know one of those things that's always been in stock and you just it's just always been shady like it's been a shady piece to me until i saw it again in a different light and with my bedroom in mind and all of a sudden it just makes sense to have this piece and this was it's a frame it's a mirror it's a clear so it's 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 glass 
and then it has this gold detail that I int that is just again by my bedside and this looks so good like it looks so good against the blush pink and I have a gold flower pot as well on the bedside and I intend to put photos of my or a photo of my nephews a collage picture I haven't printed it yet so of my nephews in there just because they're my favorite people and I want to see them every day <laughs> before I sleep <laughs> so yes uh huh I can't remember what else I got from House of Leather I think I'll just I'll get it when I when I go down when I when I when I go into this, so my other patches that I'm really excited about, and it's I have this I already own this, but then I got the larger size of the same thing just because it was on sale at Mr. Price. Let me remove the flowers inside. Should I show it to you? Show it to you the flowers. Ugh, it's this huge. It's it's a huge vase. Like it's really it's so big. And this was previously 2400 and it was on sale for 1400 and I could not pass it up because the difference between this and the half, because I have the half vase on my coffee table, is about, I bought them for almost the same price. So the, the other one was 1200 if I'm not wrong, and then this is 1400 This is really nice. I can even get um, real flowers from time to time and have them in here. Hint. <laughs> please no i need to buy myself flowers yeah so um yeah so this this vase is it's just beautiful and transporting it because i don't know why i feel like some of them not all mr price mr price homes um have the same sale at the same time so this was at yaya and i was working kind of on that side of the city for like a week so i dropped in one day and i saw it and i was like uh-uh, why would I leave this? Because I know I've been, I had been to the Mr. Price home at Sarit, which is the one closest to me, the one I frequent, uh, and they did not have this size vase, at least not when I, when I was there, I didn't see it on sale at least, so I just picked this up when I saw it. So I'll go right into the four flowers, there's quite a number of them. And I have been saying for the longest time, guys, that I will share with you my sauce for four plants because I do have a cheap downtown sauce. Um, hmm. So I'll try and give directions and I'll, I'll give directions again in the description box. So make sure you click down. Most of the time, I always leave information down below. So just if you're watching, especially on and it just drop down you see there's usually stuff to read and you know learn more um hmm. so you can see my batch is flashing i thought i charged this anyway so i got this this rose roses and they're quite long quite quite long so this is it it's two of them but each each stem has three roses and they were going for 200 bob each so this this store this is a nice pink and i also got a very deep red i love 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 the colors um i would i mean most people i guess go for white not me they also had this baby's breath although i don't think it looks like baby's breath cabisa this was like this was 90 bob so i'll put the guy's number he's called francis there's three people in the same place that you can get four plants four flowers from so it's when you down when you go down audion right onto river road where audion meets river road um right after the kanjo toilet across um opposite from best lady i can't remember what the mall is called for the life of me but it's one of those malls that sells uh like you can see decor party decor stuff that's it just go down that aisle and that kim lane and you'll see then i also have this i've had this for a while this is a mr price home by i think it was 200 or 150 i'm not i'm not too sure but yeah about that much so yeah if you just compare i've seen shops sell these also let me just add there's a shop on instagram called um is it Pix pixie and deco that also sells the flowers and four plants at a really good price um i always recommend like i'm like if you can't actually make it to go downtown just have uh this store deliver it to you they sell them at a very good price I haven't experienced them in terms of actually bought and shipped stuff to, me, to myself, but 
I've spoken, I've, I've had a back and forth with a girl and it's a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a growing business. I like it. I support it. So yeah, I'll also link that down below. So I'll put two numbers for two people, two vendors of four plants. And then I'll also add the girl's Instagram account that runs Pixie and Decor. Um, yes, so I also have two flowers. I think I'll, let me see if I'll, if I'll manage to show you those. But let me quickly go into spray paint. I went down to Kirinyaga Road. It looks like my favorite spray paint is no longer in stock. So I found this and I bought this at like, hmm, was it 200 a pop? And I have already used one and a half of these. So I needed to spray paint the curtain, ro curtain rods in my bedroom just so that the gold goes with every other gold thing. Then I need to finish my bed. I haven't finished my bed and then just keep one extra can of spray paint to have um so that's two then i went i also went to game i haven't been to game in a while i feel like i don't like when they changed i have adult problems they changed the the style of the shop so they no longer have huge shelves and long aisles so i hate it i literally find it because i'd mastered i kind of cramped how the store was and i had um specific places that i used to like going to so now when they reshuffled how the store was made and kind of made it compulsory that you had to queue in a specific way in order for you to pay i stopped going into game more however i did pass by and pick up a few things um i will be painting soon shit i don't i forget how much this was uh hmm hmm i'll write this in the description box below or it will be tagged somewhere then the more exciting thing is contact paper i have been telling people since 2017 that contact paper is at game i have i have the um, white and gray marble i got black and gold marble so this is for a diy i'm going to be adding it <laughs> watch out for that video very soon i will be doing this in a video so let's let's wait i can't remember what else i got from it so i got three of these four of, i got four of these i hope they'll be enough i don't know if they will um yeah i feel like that's everything from game let me yep that's everything from game then i also passed by chandarana <laughs> you don't think about chandarana you think about home deco well hey people so my battery died and i had to change it <laughs> I had to charge it and change it. Uh huh. So I can't remember where I was, but I feel like I was talking about Chandarana and um I picked up this they're like scoops. They are scoops, they're not like scoops, they are scoops. Uh this this are in blush pink. I don't know if you can even see them. These are in blush blush pink, and I feel like they may have been 200 bob 170 they're about something like that then i also picked up a business card an acrylic business card holder just because i am doing a bit of a, a lot of acrylic on my desk so yeah this is just going to sit on my desk then i want to in the same week so this this halls are quite spaced out um they're not they, they don't they did not happen last month or the previous month before that i feel like it's been happening over time so i was at toy as well one of those days and i happened to pick up this um bottle glass bottles i'm obsessed with glass bottles i also love love, love this color this emerald green against the blue and then with a blush pink color just pops like it just looks amazing like you guys come on as in what jewel tones are beautiful next to each other adopt them uh this was 200 bob if not 300 but i feel like it was 200 i feel like 300 would have been pushing it it's a thrift find um i don't know that any of you or that i've ever mentioned that i also thrift quite a bit for home decor um it's been a bit weird because Two of my favorite thrifting places are now like kind of no longer exist. There's somewhere on um what's that road called? Near Strathmore. There's a place, it's called the Thrift Store near Strathmore. It used to be called the Thrift Store. It was so much bigger than it is now. And back when I was in when I was at the school of law, I used to frequent there quite a bit and pick up quite a number of 
very very nice um ex canadian pieces for very for a very good price and the managers that were indian at the time i think sold the business to a kenyan they stopped renting out the entire like uh go down and then split it like size down and i just it just hasn't had the same things since it used to be so good like let me just show you some pieces i picked because incidentally i do have them here next to me um these are very very dusty there's a construction going on next to my building so this is a plant a candle stand it's extremely dusty but i've had it for years since 2016 2016 when was that okay so 2015 so i've had this at for since 2015 it's very it's like an ornate um stand this was 50 bob at the time if i'm not wrong if it wasn't 50 bob it was 150 um then they used to have a lot of these glass things as well like candle holders as well um this also used to be 50 bob or 100 bob uh, not more than that these days in terms of decor that place is just dead i do intend to go there to find a floor lamp because they've also had some very nice floor lamps over the years i don't know whether they function as well but i really like i feel like it's the one thing i regret not buying back in the day when i had the opportunity um looking around i want to take us back to the plants just because i when my battery was charging i had time to go back and now uh, corral them so when i mention four plants this is what i'm talking about so this thing it's like it comes as a stem i bought maybe hmm, how many of these i have so many of uh, maybe three so i have this one so it's a stem it literally comes without so this is an oasis that you get you can get from any flower excuse me any flower vendor so this is what i have it and then it doesn't come in a base like the uh, if you buy them like from thailand carpet or from anywhere else i guess um which comes with already mounted in a in a base and you just need to like decorate the outside of it uh this comes as stems with leaves and then you can literally detach like you can even when you ca carrying it home it's so easy because you can detach everything and attach them i have a leaf that's come out from here so you just reattach them back so i have this plant i don't know what it's called but i know it's in the monsara family and then i have this one that also is sitting right next to me this place is so dusty man it's a huge so this wait so this one this is a smaller plant this was 500 bob this is a bigger one and this was 1000 bob but i guess you can go you can actually push your luck and get it for 700 i don't know um so i've put it in this vase again this pink with the green pops against that blue but this is not for my bedroom this actually lives in my living room um this is a house of leather find from a while back but i think they still stock them so yeah i just put that in there it's uh, stuck into an oasis like the other one and then uh fluffed out like the one thing that i have a pet peeve with plants and where people don't try and um spread the leaves out so you can't actually see <laughs> it just looks like it looks like this and no plants don't grow like this well they at some point they do grow like this but then they spread out like especially towards the light so yes when you're trying to make it look as natural as possible that's what you do um that's it i'm surprised i thought there would be more i don't know how much this was i honestly thought there would be more but yes so <sighs> guys <laughs> it's been so long i don't even know what to do what i do next i think this is the point where i sign off uh, thanks so much for watching thanks so much for uh staying tuned till the end make sure you comment leave a comment tell me what is your favorite thing uh tell me a different or drop also your shops that you like to see me shop at i'd, I'd want to try some of the because i still have an office to decorate and not even decorate but just find functional things for so share with me down below your list of your a list of your favorite um online store vendors physical shops and a store you'd like me to check out yeah that's all Thank you so much again, again, guys. Thank you. Bye.